another tune of the month. Happy September. It's fall. I'm so excited. I love fall. Um, and to celebrate, I am going to show you one of my all-time very favorite tunes, very favorite reels. Uh, and I know I say that a lot, but it's particularly true with this tune because uh, it's one of the first tunes I ever learned. It's a, a very old tune, as far as I know, um, and this version I play comes from New Brunswick. It's called the Pacific Slope Reel. Here it is. attracting you to it is the same thing that uh, attracted me to it, a little six-year-old Mari running around looking for the fanciest tune she could possibly find. It sounds super fancy, right? Um, but like many of the Tune of the Months that we've done, this is a tune that sounds fancy but uh, really isn't that difficult to play if you know a couple of tricks and techniques to get yourself through it. Um, and actually, all the tips and techniques you need to get yourself through this, we've already learned on Tune of the Month, and I'm just going to show you how they work in this tune. So, uh, if I refer to something that's news to you, uh, you can go back to other previous tunes of the month and learn other tunes uh, that work on the same skill. Uh, and if you're trying to figure out where those are, I finally, I've just launched a new website, www.mariblack.com, the new version, that has a complete index of all the Tune of the Month videos and a description of not only what the tune is, but what we talk about in that particular video. So you can find those skills really easily. Okay, so this tune is in uh, the key of A. The first part is A modal, which means it's an A major scale but with no leading tone, G naturals instead of G sharps. And then the second part's in A major. That's one of the cool things about this tune, it switches modality um, between the A section and the B section. So I'll slow it down first. A section. <laughs> rewind the video and play it with me a bunch. Um, if you're a Tune of the Month skills follower, you will notice that this tune follows part one, part two, part one ending construction. So very easy to pick those out. And if we're talking about what makes this tune cool, well what makes the A section cool is the bowing. Did you notice that? I was using a mixture of a lot of the different bowing patterns that we've done in past Tune of the Month videos. And if you've been really getting good at picking those out, you probably already have them from the slow down version. But let me just go through it and show you. Here's part one. It starts with that little French Canadian um, syncopated rhythm we've talked about. And notice I'm doing that down, up, up, right? Down, up, up. Now I'm backward. 
words, so I have to do a buffer slur. Slur, slur, man. And that gets me through. So just using the buffer bowings, which we've talked about to keep myself down bow on down beats, and, and that French Canadian rhythm, down, up, up, bingo. I have the first part. Here it is again, part one. Down, up, up, buffer, buffer, man. You already have that, I'm sure. If you don't, rewind, it's all right. The second part, part two, is all big, little, big, little. Some people call it slur, no slur, slur, no slur. I call it big, little, because big is this much bow, and little is just that much bow. I'm sorry, uh, da, da, da. part two. and then at the very end I threw in that bowing that we've done before, the hook three. Three separates, three slur which will fall up bow, and then two separate to correct. All right, that's the first half of the tune, part one, part two. I'll do the I'll whole thing again with the bonds. Part one, French Canadian down, up, up, buffer, tunes uh, starts just like the part two. Here it is. <laughs> Only I'm going to end separate bows. Separate, separate, yeah, on those broken thirds. Whole A section. French Canadian. Canadian part at the beginning, da da ga down, and the cool rhythms implied by the changing bowings, all of a sudden the A section sounds very complex. It's a great example how mixing around these bowing patterns can really take your tunes to the next level. Okay, so B section. B section has the extra cool stuff, right? This is where we're going to go to A major, so put your G sharps back in, and you're going to notice a lot of that French Canadian rhythm, da ba ba ba, ya gum ga gum, the syncopation. It's always going to be down, up, up, down. Good rule of thumb for life. Here it is, B section. It's okay, it sounds like it's a bunch of extra stuff. It's actually not. You just have to remember that whole thing at the end, the second half, is all an ending material. Okay, so it's going to start with French Canadian rhythms. This first part's easy. Down, up. Now what's going to make that easy to do quickly, here's a skill we've done on Tune of the Month before, is glue fingers. For that little pattern I have my C sharp, my second finger on my A string, and my third finger, A, on my E string. And I'm going to glue both those fingers down. I'm not going to pick them up. Just cross my bow. Do you see it? They haven't moved. Now I'm going to put down an octave low B first finger on the A string and high B fourth finger on the E string and do the same thing with glue fingers. Pretty cool and easy. All right, 
now here's the next cool part. This is where it goes to third position. If you're freaking out, don't freak out. We've done tunes like this before. Um, if you haven't done them with me, go back and check them out. I'll show you exactly how to get to third position, measure it, everything like that. Even if you've never done it before. If you've already done it, you know that I'm going to go for the test note, right? That I'm going to match where my third finger would normally go, high A, and put my first finger there instead. And how I know I'm in the right place is that my A matches with my open A string. I'm going to start with a slur. Slur. Notice that's the same arpeggio, right? And I'm using an evens team, another tune of the month skill, uh, open Open is a, a zero is an even number for our purposes. Open two and four. Slur. Now I'm going to change arpeggios, moving to third position. And then I'm going to extend my fourth finger and hit a harmonic. Ha! We haven't done a harmonic in Tune of the Months before. There's a harmonic right there. It's just above third position, so notice I release the bottom of my hand and just straighten out my fourth finger. Normally we don't like playing with straight fingers because they don't work so well, but here if you just happen to straighten out your fourth finger, you should reach the harmonic right about there. If you have smaller hands, you may need to curve your hand around a little bit to reach it, but it is right there, you'll find it. Alright, so this middle part, the arpeggios, evens team. Odds team, one, three, lift up one. Harmonic. Aha. Grand ending. You've just lifted off into the air on that up bow. Now you're going to come back down and slur down. Little big, little may sound really noty. I'll play it again. Listen for where there are arpeggios and where there are scales. I've just finished my harmonic. Big arpeggio. Big scale all the way down. A major arpeggio. To end. Aha! Not so hard when you figure that out. I'll do the grand ending one more time. Here's the harmonic. you break it down, it's not that hard. It's just a bunch of little skills lined up together. Um, so again, if you want to check out more details and more tunes where I've used those skills before in Tune of the Month, you can either cycle through all the YouTube channel things that are on that side of your screen, maybe? I can't tell if it's backwards or not. Uh, or you can go to my website, www.mariblack.com. And uh, in the projects section of my page, I have all the Tune of the Months. They're listed out chronologically. They have the names of the tunes, the style they come from, and a little description of what we talk about when we learn that tune. So you can go back and practice all these skills in uh, several different tunes and really master them so you can bring them to all of yours. As always, if uh, you are interested in seeing sheet music for this tune, we don't have sheet music available on the website, but I do send it out 
uh, with my monthly email newsletter. So if you're interested in that while you're at my website, you can subscribe to the newsletter and I'll send out sheet music every month for the new tune and you'll be all caught up for that. Thanks guys for stopping by. I hope you have a great September and I'll see you in a few weeks. Bye.